Everyone okay? After spending a significant amount of time attending school from home during the pandemic, many parents are glad to send their kids back to school. I'm a firm believer that kids need to be with other kids. That's how they learn, that's their social environment, that's, you know, and they need to be with teachers. Gauri Prasad is mom to four-year-old Kyra who attends junior kindergarten in Toronto. It's so nerve-wracking. It's so conflicted um, at this point because she needs that environment. She comes back home with a slight sniffle. I'm like, oh my God, what happened? What did she touch? What did she not do? The situation is also complicated for Prasad because she often has to interact closely with others at work. Go onto a set and come back home and, you know, how much can I hug her? Should I hug her at all? A national study by University of Saskatchewan finds 70% of Canadians are concerned about the spread of COVID-19 in classrooms. Almost half of people saying, you know, I'm very concerned that my a uh, child may get very sick or get hospitalized. Researcher Jessica McCutcheon says a majority of Canadians are in favor of masks. Around 80% wanting to see masks, uh, school children and staff. The study also finds people on the prairies and in Ontario are less confident in other parents following safety guidelines. I'd be naive to think no one's going to come to school with those symptoms. It, it's going to happen. We shouldn't be sending our kids in our kids have those symptoms. Daniel Cortez is a parent to 10-year-old Isabella and 8-year-old Xavier. We took it upon ourselves to teach them how to be safe. I'm willing to deal with that risk to make sure that they're able to learn in an environment that they really thrive in. Cortez supports mask wearing at schools. Especially since kids are not vaccinated, it, it only makes sense to continue this as hard as it is for this age range. Many parents agree with weighing the risks and benefits and continuing important activities like in-person learning. Charmin Samani, Global News.